Hello everyone! We are back with more Clash Royale League Asia action! Here are the 5 good games from CRL Asia Week 2. Possibly one of the tightest contests of the week saw Chaos Theory and AHQ Esports Club both vying for their first win. In the tie-breaking set 3, Trainer Dexters was able to snipe a Mega Minion, Executioner, and the Princess Tower with a lightning to create a clear path for the balloon to destroy its opponent. Kicks Team's Taoki had AHQ Morris Lin pinned for most of the game in the second match of the day. However, Morris Lin was able to capitalize on Taoki's terrible log and over-eagerness to push the tower within Poison's range to complete the reversal. In set 2, AHQ was holding on to their first match point of the season, but a sloppy graveyard placement had one of the spawn skeletons waking up the King's Tower. At the same time, Kix was able to defend and counter push with their massive army. A brilliantly timed freeze and lightning spells completely crippled any hope of defending the oncoming balloon. Kix went on to win the entire match. In the match between OGN Entus and King Zone Dragon X turned out to be the new sequel of the Clone Wars, as both teams decided to clone the golems and giant skeletons in an all-out battle at the bridge. OGN Entus somehow survived and pushed back to claim victory. In set 2 of Pono Sports vs Detonation Gaming, Fuchi and Mikan Boya decided to go airborne with two lava hounds. The hounds were supported by the skeleton spawning tombstone and the skeleton barrel. They swarmed the opponent's tower within seconds. Pono Sports kept their cool and finished off the match with poison. Now let's take a look at the current standings in CRL Asia. Bren Esports managed to beat Chaos Theory to sweep the SEA teams to stay ahead of the pack, while AHQ will have a mountain to climb as they are still looking for a win. Over to Korea, King Zone Dragon X managed the same feat as they fended off and swept the division. In Japan, Game With dropped a match after their perfect start of Week 1 but remained the top Japanese team. And here are the upcoming interdivision matches in CRL Asia Week 3. The second place teams in the Korea and Japan divisions will face off on Friday. On Saturday, Detonation Gaming will have to try to pick up a tough win against the Inform King Zone Dragon X. On Sunday, the top teams in the Korea and Japan divisions will fight for an invaluable win and also bragging rights to show the world which division is stronger. That's all from us for Week 2. Stay tuned for more Clash Royale League Asia action!